guys this is author delicia and a welcome to my channel if you are new please feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time there is a new upload and today i just decided that i wanted to do a little vlogging you guys i want to start this off with doing a face mask by sephora this is a new face mask that i not too long got this would be my first time trying this face mask out you guys Y'all know, even though I love cosmetics and makeup and stuff, that I'm heavily into skincare. Um, I love to use the detox masks and all these different types of masks to see what actually works, what's really good. And, and I love trying different things by different brands. This time, y'all, it's by Sephora. And this one is basically a... What is the name of this one? I know they have these in all different... Um, all different scents and it says mask smoothie and this may be berry scented or something and it tells you how to use it on the back so you just pretty much keep this mask on for like five minutes and then you wash it off so yeah we're gonna go ahead and try this you guys I got my camera on the side of me so if you see me looking right here this way in this angle this is pretty much where my mirror and everything is at maybe I can turn the camera this way so y'all could kind of see or you could see me through the mirror that's in front of me I have a bucket this right here this bucket just contains warm water and a washcloth for me to wash it off versus me doing the video in the bathroom I figured it would be better for me to just do it here since I have a mirror in my beauty room also so I'm going to probably damp my face first and then apply some of this um, mask and then I'll turn my camera this way so y'all can be able to see everything that I'm doing or I may just leave it in this view I'm not sure so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and it has the little um, covering right here or should I say the little seal and I'm gonna see what it smells like y'all it definitely smells like a berry or something and this is what it looks like you guys so I'm gonna dab my face first and then I'm gonna apply some of this onto my face so I have this washcloth right here and let me dampen my skin first and put that in there and then I'm just going to apply this mask on my face. Y'all, it smells really, really good. smells so freaking good smells so good like I'm even gonna take some of this and put some of it on my neck cuz y'all know a girl you gotta take care of that neck and it's just like goes into the skin you guys let's see and let's see what it says let me get some of this off my hand a smooth texture mask that's concentrated in actual extract in natural Oregon and works in just five minutes see what else it says under here acts like a shield against outside puritans for skin that is well protected and glows 
Y'all, this is the first mask that I used that did not, like, you know, that wasn't, like, thick or to where it just sets on the skin and you could see that you actually added the mask on your face. This one is definitely a different type of mask. I'm going to look up on my phone what else it says about this mask, y'all. And it does have, like, the ingredients and everything right there on the back. You probably can't see it all. But I'm going to look this up and see what else it says about this mask. So I'm going to grab this phone and look it up. Okay, so it's called Sephora Mask Smoothie. So let's see what else it says about this mask. Here is an image right here where it pulled up. Y'all can see that and it says that it's $7. So it's going to take me to the site. And when I clicked on it, it actually pulled up all different ones. They have the peppermint gum one right here. I told you they have all different ones and they have a banana cream one which it looks like that they have a grapefruit peeling which looks like that one they have a hemp mousse which that one is green it looks like this one may be sold out. The Oat Muesli. I think that one may be sold out because it has an X on that one. And let's see what's back here. Okay, so this is the one that I have right here. That one. And it says AQ Eats Smoothie. Now let's see what else it says on how to use, let's see the details. A range of face masks with different textures enriched with star ingredients that each target a specific skincare concern. Now this one says for the skincare type, normal, dry, combination, and oily. The skincare concerns pores, dryness, and blemishes. So y'all, I did pick the right one out. Let's see, it says read more. This product is cruelty free and not tested on animals. What else it says? What else you need to know? This set of targeted masks, each targets a different skin concern. The peppermint gum mask is for tones. The grapefruit peeling mask is for, it perfects the skin. The oat muesli mask soothes the skin. The hip, the hip moussey mask targets blemishes. I might need to try that one too. I believe that one is the green one. The IQ smoothie mask protects from pollution and the banana cream mask nourishes the skin. So let's click on the how to use. It says apply a thin layer to dry skin and leave for 10 minutes. Exfoliate by massaging your face and then rinse it with lukewarm water. So even though I damp my skin a little bit, I'm pretty sure that's still fine. Or you can just apply it right onto your dry skin as it says. It says to leave up there for 10 minutes. But on the back of this, it says 5 minutes. So I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this up here for 10 minutes or not. But I will be back once I left it up there and show y'all and tell y'all what I think about it afterwards. Okay, y'all, my 10 minutes is up. I'm going to go ahead and wash, um, wash this off of my face. And this, this is not like, this is kind of crazy for me because like I said, I'm used to using either the sheet mask or either the mask where you actually can see that it's on your face, which this is different because you can't really see that it's up there. So I'm just going to clean my face. 
and see if I notice like any difference within my skin. Probably not gonna notice too much of a difference within like the, the first time that you use something, you have to probably continue to use it. All right, y'all, my skin really feels like, uh, like you feel like a tingly sensation when it's up there, when it's exfoliating your skin. But now that I done cleaned it off, it really feels refreshed and clean. It just has like this cooling sensation <laughs> on my face. And my skin definitely, definitely feels very smooth and very soft. And that's pretty much the difference that I feel within using that. I do see that there's a little shrinkage right here like in my pores because I have like enlarged pores in this area of my face they do seem to have gotten smaller with that mask that I've used so I do notice that difference but my skin is like really really soft and really really smooth so so far I think I'm gonna continue to use this Sephora um smoothie mask like it's really good and I think I'm gonna probably end up buying like the whole collection of them with the fact that they each target different things and I may even grab some for family and friends who may decide that they want to try this out. So if anything I would say y'all most definitely get this and try it out. I really love how it makes my skin feel. It still has this cooling sensation to it and it really feels soft and really feels smooth and I do feel like I said I see some of the shrinkage in this area from the 10 minutes that I have had it on my face I'm going to definitely continue to use it as long as I don't really experience any type of breakouts or anything like that so far I don't really feel any itching burning any type of irritation so this is definitely a plus for me you guys and I'll see y'all in my next part of my vlog which y'all will be seeing soon because I have a couple things that's in store for you guys All right, you guys, hopefully y'all can see me. Not sure if you can or not. Hopefully y'all can see everything. Um, I hadn't eaten anything today, so I decided to get me a roll and to warm up my little banquet meal. It's still covered up because I just took it out of the microwave. Looks yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> And this is basically what it is, y'all. It's from Banquet. And it's the backyard a barbecue meal with the mac and cheese. I just threw me a roll with it. So, y'all just gonna watch me grub, y'all. Let me do my little prayer. Amen. Alright. My girl is about to eat. I just wanted something fast and quick because I didn't cook today before I get ready to head out. Hmm. So freaking good. Mm hmm. Hopefully y'all can see what this looks like. I should have added me like some sugar in this barbecue sauce because I like my barbecue sauce to be kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. I got this from um I don't know if I got this from Walmart. Well, I might have got it from the DT, y'all. Because I know the DT be having these, too. But it's pretty good. Mm 
I'm waiting on my daughter. Because we're supposed to be going, um, going out in a few. Barbecue sauce is pretty good. Just wish it was a little sweeter, you guys. A little sweeter. I should have got me two rolls because I got like a whole thing of rolls in there. I'm definitely not a fast eater. I'm a slow eater. I do not eat fast. I like to be able to enjoy my food. Enjoy the taste. Versus just rushing and cramming in my mouth. <laughs> I got this um this bottle. I got this bottle from the DC. It says PBA free. And I just filled it with like the red punch minute maid. And I really like this bottle. It's bigger than the other one that I actually was using. You just pop it open right here. So it's like a no spill type of thing. And got the little nozzle. Mm, so good so freaking good all right you guys i am done with my meal it is all gone your girl ate it all and that roll was so freaking freaking good so i guess we're gonna be moving on to the next because me and my daughter is gonna be leaving out real soon and y'all are gonna be seeing what we're gonna be doing so make sure you stay tuned for the rest of this vlog and let's see three tablespoons i have like my um measuring cups too But I'm just going to add three tablespoons of milk in here. It's always better with milk versus water. One, two, three. I'm going to mix this up. Like it always tell you an amount that's really not <laughs> enough. Really not enough with what they tell you to mix in there, to be honest. Like, it still look kind of like that. So I'm going to decide to... Alright you guys, I am going... I put two, of, two packs of the caramel cake inside of this bowl. That's what I decided to mix up next. It was in these little packs like this. I just added two of them in there. And this is what it looks like in the bowl. And I'm going to... Alright y'all, here are the cupcakes. I used all four of them. The front two, I just spaced them out two and two. And I did grab my icing, which is right here. The Funfetti Vanilla by Pillsbury. I'm going to end up topping it with this. And then we're going to be adding some of the little candies or whatever on top to just top it off the confetti and stuff and I am about to take this and put it in the oven 
decided to throw me on some hot dogs to you guys because I ain't really ate too much today but here it goes it's in the oven and it should get done pretty quick since um, you can make those within like a minute's time so I'm just gonna keep an eye out on those and I will show y'all the end results all right you guys this is pretty much how my cupcakes came out they are all done I'm getting ready to add some of this icing on top of them and I'm gonna add some sprinkles and stuff and I'll come back and show y'all the finished results of how everything looks all right the cupcakes are done they looking yummy 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 I put sprinkles on top with the icing and I did me I just threw me on some pork and beans y'all I threw on some pork and beans some hot dogs and some homemade mac and cheese back there in the back I'm about to get out some hot dog buns I was trying to see if I could find me some chili for these hot dogs I make them on some chili or whatever and I do have um, some fries that's in the oven I didn't feel like frying them but they are the TGI Friday fries they're probably done I'm about to pull those out and I am about to grub